Greetings to all. This is a session for 9th standard, first chapter, number system, exercise 1.3. The first question is, write the following in decimal form and say what kind of decimal expansion each has. First question is 36 by 100. Divide 36 by 100. It is not possible. So, what you have to do? Put 0 point and take 0 here. In 100, there are 3 digit. In 360, also 3 digit. Now, you can easily divide. That is, 100 threes are 300 and you are left with 60. If you subtract, you will get 60. And take one more 0, then it will become 600. Again, continue the division process. 100, 6 are 600. Now, the quotient is 0 0.36. Now, since it is terminating, it is ending, we can say that the decimal expansion is terminating. Now, let us see the second question. The second question is 1 by 11. Now, you have to divide 1 by 11. Here two digits are there. Here only one digit. It is not possible. So you have to write zero point. Then take zero here. Then it will be 10, 11, two digits. Even in 10 it is two digit. But still it is not divisible. So put zero and take one more zero here. Then it will be 100. Now 11 nines are 99. Subtract you will get 1. Then take 0, it will be 10 again. It is not possible to divide. Put 0 here and you can take one more 0. Now it will be again 100. Divide by 11, then it is 99. 11 nines are 99. Subtract, you will get 1. The same steps continues. I mean to say 0, again it will be 10. It is not possible. You have to add 0 in the quotient and you have to take one more 0. It will be 100. The same process will continue. Hence, if you observe the quotient, it is non-terminating. You can conclude the solution by writing that decimal expansion is non-terminating because it never ends. And also you can observe the repeating numbers in the quotient. That is recurring or repeating numbers. The third question is 4 1 by 8. Since it is in mixed fraction, convert into fraction first. 8 4s are 32. 32 plus 1 is 33 by 8. Now continue the process of division. Divide 33 by 8. 8 4s are 32. Subtract, you will get 1 as a reminder. Put point here and take 0. 8 1s are 8. Subtract, you will get 2 as a reminder. Take 0 and 8 2s are 16. If you subtract, you will get 4. Take one more 0, then 8 5s are 40. Now the remainder is 0, 0 and division will stop. When you observe the quotient that is 4.125, it is ending with a remainder 0. Conclude by saying the decimal expansion is terminating. Question number 4 is 3 by 13. Start the division process. 3 has to be divided by 13. Since you have 2 digits and 3 has only 1 digit, it is not possible to divide. Put 0 point and take 0 here. It will be 30. Then 13 twos are 26. Subtract, you will get for as a reminder. Since the division has to continue, take 0. 13 3s are 39. Subtract, you will get 1 as a reminder. Then take 0, 
but it is not divisible again add one more zero in the quotient and take one more zero here it will be 100 then 13 sevens are 91 when you subtract you will get 9 as a reminder and your zero take zero again it will be 90 then 13 six are 78 Subtract. When you subtract, you will get 12. Then take 0, it will be 120. Then 13 nines are 117. 13 nines are 117. If you subtract, again you are left with 3. And the same process will continue. That is, again you have to add 0 here, same steps. So, these numbers will repeat again and again. The quotient you will get is 0 0.230769 recurring. It repeats. The decimal expansion is non-terminating and repeating. Now, the fifth question is, 2 by 11. Here since there are two digits, here one digit, it is not possible. Take 0 point and take one more 0 here. It will be 20. Then 11 ones are 11. You are left with 9 and take 0, it will be 90. 11 eights are 88. Subtract, you will get 2. Again, take 0, it is 20. The same process will continue. Let us find out one more step. That is, 11, 1s are 11. You are left with 9. Again, take 0, it will be 90. 11, 8s are 88. If you subtract, you will get 2 again. The same steps continues. When you divide 2 by 11, you will get the quotient 0 0.18 recurring. This 18 is repeating all over. That's the reason we can conclude by saying the decimal expansion is non-terminating because it never ends and it's repeating. Now the last question in this main is 329 by 400. Divide 329 by 400 if we observe this 329 is not divisible by 400 so I'll put 0 point and I'll take 0 here then it will be 3290 now 48s are 32 then if you subtract you'll get 0 9 then 90 is not divisible take one more 0 then 402 is 800. If you subtract, you are left with 100. Then again, it is not divisible. Then take one more zero. It will be 1000. Then 402 is 800 again. If you subtract, you will get 200. Then take one more zero. It is 2000. 400 is 2000. 5 zeros are 0, 5 zeros are 0, 5 fours are 20. If you subtract, you will get remainder as 0. We can conclude by saying that the decimal expansion is terminating since the quotient is 0 0.8225. That's all for today's class. If you like this video, Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.